Hi, Glenn Gazer here for the Wheat Foods Council. Um, I'd like to say a few things about exercise and immune function. So, is there a relationship? Uh, the answer to that is definitely yes. So, exercise does affect your body's immune system. So, how does this work? Well, the relationship is kind of U-shaped. So, let's take a look at the extremes and then the sweet spot in the middle. So on the one hand, you have, let's say, your very sedentary individuals, your true couch potatoes, who don't do any physical activity whatsoever. These individuals have weakened immune systems. In other words, they are nowhere near optimal. Uh, on the other extreme, you have individuals who exercise very intensely on a daily basis, may compete in these ultra events and so forth, um, and they may actually have a compromised immune system at certain times during training, particularly when they get run down. Now, that doesn't really pertain to most of us because most of us are not our, your extreme uh, ultra-endurance athletes. So the sweet spot, that bottom part of the U-shaped relationship, is typically associated with moderate intensity to vigorous intensity activity uh, of a moderate duration. So if you are exercising uh, the equivalent of about 150 minutes a week, say about 20 to 30 minutes a day of moderate to vigorous intensity activity. That seems to be the exercise level associated with uh, the most benefit to your immune system. So if you're on the sedentary side, you may consider upping your physical activity level to a, a point where you're getting in about 20 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity on a daily basis. If you're exercising at the extreme level and oftentimes feel run down, uh, fatigued, um, you may be at risk for uh, infection, particularly upper respiratory tract infections, and you may, may want to dial it back a little. Again, that sweet spot is typically about 20 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity on most days of the week, and you're right in the middle of that sweet spot.